Bislev, welcome to the channel. Could you please introduce yourself a bit regarding Call of Dragons, your overall experience, leading project, etc. Hey Spartan, thanks for having me on your channel. I have already started in a beta mm -hmm. on server 19 and have um, started since uh, global launch basically. I made there my first project, which we have started when in April um, on server 69. Mm -hmm. And we were successful. We have started with around 400 members. We have won heavily our season one, mm -hmm. and we were very strong in season one plus. And right now, I'm playing my main still on server 69, probably migrating it to server 68, mm -hmm. and doing also right now my second project, um, where we have right now around uh, almost 400 members on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think like uh, Hunting Horde is, well, we'll get to that, yeah, we'll get into that in later, but I think it's going to be a massive project. But uh, right now I do have the advertisement, you know, the, the, the project advertisement in front of me, but I still want to ask you, what are the main goals of this project? So the, the number one main goal for this project is definitely being competitive server. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, we want to compete against other servers in the SVS, or server versus server, or you want to also call it KVK from Voice of Kingdoms. Yeah. Then we want to also compete in the future PvP events, or Woods of War. Yeah. Woods of War, right? Um, and then probably, like in Voice of Kingdoms, uh, future eSport events, we will also want to compete in that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the overall main goal from, mm -hmm. the, from the project, mm -hmm. uh, being competitive and showing off against other servers. And the, the second uh, the second mango from the project is basically like having fun, mm -hmm. um, enjoying the fights. And I also want to show everyone like how enjoyable these fights are when you know how to fight correctly. Exactly. Because yeah. I think right yeah. now many don't know how to fight correctly. And that is kind of destroying the fighting experience, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I saw that uh, from others and um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So uh, regarding the goals on the advertisement, I'm not going to get into, you know, spend the section. It could be classified. Mm. I, don't, I don't really care about that one. But I think we did reach uh, 300 members, no? Yeah. And uh, like, how, do, do we have 15 members in the leadership? Um, so right now, the main alliance alone has 13 or fours, and with myself, uh, uh -huh. so we have 14. We do looking right now still for our fours in the second alliances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would I see, be I see. Hunting Hounds, where are right now three our fours in. Mm -hmm. Moonhorde, where mm -hmm. are right now four our fours in. So yeah, if people are interested in leadership spots, there are definitely some still open. Yeah, that's great. Because, and... uh, I wanted to ask this because I think our goal is to start between December 8 to 10. And I wanted yes. to, you know, see if we will be able to do that. Yes. So uh, there are definitely our four and our five spots open. Mm -hmm. um, we have also an um, application form for it. Um, I do personally also interviews when with who's who have applied. Um, and the other our five are also like um, doing kind of interviews uh, via chat or via interview on mm -hmm. voice chat. That's up to them. The goals from Hunting Horde were something for for myself and of course also for the people to see okay what we want to achieve before we starting obviously this project is super serious if you if you look at the discord like it's very organized a lot of information and you are doing interviews like one-on-one -on -one interviews for our four and our five spots that is insane and that is related to my next question what makes you think that this project will succeed because i've seen a lot of call of dragons project you know they start very very hyped and everything but then after a few, not even months, like after a few weeks, the project falls apart. Why do you think that this project will succeed? It's going to sound a little bit arrogant, mm -hmm. but basically from my experience, I know how to lead. Yeah, that's great. And yeah. Um, I, I, I see, you, you have mentioned it, a lot of, a lot of projects have failed or mm -hmm. are failing. Mm -hmm. And that, that is basically just because they don't know how to lead. Yeah. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to lead. People looking for power instead of for activity. Yeah. They're looking for um, for spenders instead of active free-to-play players. Um, I mean, you know, there, there are a few things which you which you need to understand for being successful and having um, a successful project. Mm -hmm. Especially the beginning is really hard because of, of many alliances rise and fall. Yeah. Um, right? So, especially in the beginning, you need to show off and you need to know how to lead. And if if people only looking for power and if they're only looking for spenders and kicking active free to play or low spenders just because they are maybe lower in the power when they 
think we should be. But I mean, we should also not forget they might be just saving for an event, right? Yeah, exactly. So, they have to like um, they don't need to use, let's say, their speed ups like immediately just to catch up with the power. I mean, in, exactly. In the long run, it's just going to hurt their account. Exactly, exactly. And and that's that are things which many don't understand. And when they just kick these people, mm -hmm. getting maybe how higher power players in. But if you're looking on the stats, they maybe have five k less helps than it it would yeah. begin. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. huge. Um, and and I think that's like the main thing why so many project failing and why I think my project gonna be successful based on the experience from my first project, based on the comments mm -hmm. which I got on my first project, um the feedback which I got from my first project, um like ninety nine percent of it was positive and they were having a good time in season one and they were thankful for it. Um you can ask any of these older players. Some of them are also on the on um in the current project. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not just me saying it that I know how to lead. It's also the membership, yeah, basically saying, and the Air Force also have saying that that. Um, yeah, 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 I see. You so, know, uh, yeah, I think for example, when it comes to leading the projects, probably be like the first example because if we go to to the Discord of Haunting Horde, and um, you know, you recently made, sent a message, a post regarding like which alliance do you guys prefer, which alliance do you guys want. And of course, everybody clicked yeah. on one, which is Hunting Horde, which is the main alliance. Like dealing with this, I think is going to be like the first sign of how great a leader you are or you are not. Because I think it's going to be quite challenging to deal with. Uh, definitely. Like um, everyone wants to be in the main, but um, yeah, everyone needs to understand you can expect 100 people to be at the beginning in the main alliance. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they're probably going to be kind of like a list system. Uh -huh. um, based on um, the current activity on the Discord and based on the answers from from the votes and also the leadership going to be in having spots in the Alliance, right? Then we're just going to do the four Alliances. So there are in total over the 160 spots, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. we, we, yes, we have almost 400 members on the, on the Discord, but we should always... Also, not forget that you will always start lower in the number yeah, than you actually course, have exactly. on the Discord. Exactly. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, then we have also people from Server 69 on the Discord. Mm -hmm. um, where, where, where there's the other um, story for that. I will not start this one. Mm -hmm. so that is also around 70 members less. So we have around maybe around 200 to 250 people, mm -hmm. which would start directly. You know, I see. It, it, that is always something uh, which you need to have in your mind as a as a project leader that you will always start lower than the number is actually is. Mm -hmm. And if you start with a thinking, oh wait, we have we have three hundred fifty people. That is also one of the reasons why probably many projects fail because yeah, they yeah, yeah, think, yeah. oh yeah, we we have this amount of people on the server. We have so that is the exact number which we're starting. No, mm -hmm. that's not the exact number you're starting yeah, with. Of course, you of always course. have people which are just AFK in the server. Mm -hmm. We have people which stop playing um, on the first day. Mm -hmm. You have people which are just there to, I don't know, for information mm -hmm. because they are in the other project. So you should always like count only 60 to 70 percent of the people which you have right now on the server. So based on the number from the Shusu Alliance, mm -hmm. um, you see that we that people have that we, around 140 people have shoes right now mm -hmm. so that fits right now still in the possibility to just start with the four alliances mm -hmm. if we go over this i'm probably gonna do a holder alliance for the first two three days i mean you're getting really fast a lot of spots in the first two three days right yeah so they're probably just gonna be then one or two holder alliances for mm -hmm. for the rest of the people to being able to have at least a spot uh, until we have more spots open in the subs or main. It comes down to how many alliance, uh, how many people have shoes at the end an alliance, and then I will see with, uh, with the leadership going through the people, doing a list, um, and yeah. So, uh, my last question is: Is there a limitation to to people who can join, or it's just like who can join the project? But let me ask you this. Everyone. Everyone. Like yeah. I don't I don't I really don't care if you're free to play, if you're mm -hmm. a low spender or way a kraken. I really don't care. Mm -hmm. For me it's really important that you need to understand that if you're joining this project, I want you to be active mm -hmm. um on Discord and in, especially in the game. I want that 
uh, we from the leadership see that you you don't need to push power every day. You know, yeah. for it's just really important that we see. Okay, you are active. Mm -hmm. um, we we see that by your stats uh, that they are increasing. Um, important is also that you doing raw contribution. Uh, that's really important. Mm -hmm. When it comes to raw, also that we see. Okay, you have a good amount of merits. Um, that you that you do merit farming before the war starts for mm -hmm. being able to get more elixir. Mm -hmm. um, this is also part of being active and showing you want to help in the war as much as possible and stuff like that. You know, um, I really don't look on power that much. Or maybe just at the beginning a little bit, but um, I think power looking on power is uh, giving you false information about someone it doesn't matter which power uh, which bending level you are everyone can join mm -hmm. but you need to understand that this is a comp competitive server um or gonna be a competitive server we're looking forward to be top uh top server in the game so yeah make sure you you're having this mindset and then you're very welcome to join us that's great uh beast thank you so much for joining and i wish you the best with the project and of course I'm not doing this just because of kindness. I'm doing this because I'm in the project and I'm going to spend. So hopefully this project will succeed <laughs> because otherwise I'm due. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so All much right. for joining. Yeah, and everyone go ahead and check out Beast's channel. He does also have a YouTube channel and shares really, really good Call of Dragons guide. His link is going to be in the description. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I see you on the next Call of Dragons video. Goodbye. Goodbye.